Hi there! Today we're in Mulbany, just south of Durban, for a look at chocolate bar manufacture. Beacon's TV bar is the star of the show, so let's get straight to it. TV bar has two quite different parts, a crisp and crunchy centre and a chocolate coating on the outside. The basic ingredients for the centre of the bar are Rice Krispies, roasted coconut and cocoa powder. The drums move to a continuous mixer and the mix is poured into a hopper. The ingredients filter into the machine as they are needed and are blended with a cocoa-based binder to form a gooey chocolate-based mix of ingredients. The mix travels up a conveyor belt and is deposited into an extruder machine. The sheet of extruded material is soft and pliable and is quite thick and uneven as it moves along the conveyor. It passes through a second rolling process where it is put under pressure and compressed to the thickness of the inside of a TV bar. The sheet passes through a cooling process in the first of a series of cooling tunnels. At each stage of production, the product needs to be at a specific state of hardness. The cooler will cause the binder to solidify as it cools so that it will reach the hardness that is required for machining. Chocolate will become solid at around 32 degrees centigrade. The sheet passes through a slitting, separating and guillotine station where the bars are slit by a series of knives and cut by a guillotine to the correct length. A special conveyor belt separates each bar as it moves towards the enrobing station. Chocolate is made by kneading and working a mixture of cocoa and milk powder with powdered milk and cocoa butter at about 75 degrees Celsius in a conch machine. The constant movement at high temperatures causes the mixture to become liquid chocolate. In the enrobing machine, each bar passes through a curtain of molten chocolate, receiving a thin covering in the first of two enrobing processes. As long as the temperature is kept above 32 degrees centigrade, the chocolate will be kept in liquid form. Below 32 degrees, the chocolate will begin to solidify. A vibration machine removes excess chocolate. The bars are cooled to harden the chocolate coating and pass through a second enrobing machine where they receive a final coating to bring the outside chocolate layer to the correct thickness. The complete bars pass through a final cooling process in which they'll spend about 12 minutes travelling through a long cooling tunnel at 12 degrees Celsius. As they emerge from the cooling tunnel, the chocolate has solidified and the finished bars move to the wrapping stations. Pre-printed rolls of wrapping material are loaded into the machine. Each bar is sealed in a wrapper, cut to size and separated. This machine can wrap thousands of bars per hour. TV bar also comes in a white chocolate coating. White chocolate is white in colour because there's no cocoa in the mix. The outer layer is made from cocoa butter, milk powder and sugar, which is mixed together to produce the white coating. Well, you've seen it all. I'm going to sample some of these, so I'll see you next time.